Hey, it's Brett, Useful Aircraft. This is the plane, and eventually I'm gonna get this plane into you guys' hands. We gotta figure out how to do it. You know, the issue is if I end up having to cut everything and then ship them out to you, that's a giant pain in my ass. It relies on me being in the shop, and that's just not something I wanna do. You know, I was thinking, the nice thing about distributing digital goods, it allows you to uh, convey the accuracies you want. I was having issues, and again, I don't typically draw out plans, but I was trying to make some print them onto an uh, average sheet of paper, and even with DXF, I found out no matter what I did, with printer scaling, you didn't end up with thin things exactly to size. And then I thought about it. All the stuff that I 3D print, you know, for example, my little flight control boards. All of those require CNC accuracy that comes down to the Nats ass. 60 millimeters is 60 millimeters, no matter how you slice it, whether it's X or in Y. That's something we, most of us have access to in FPV, and those are 3D printers. What can you use 3D printers for? Well, that's easy. I took the parts and made them into templates. You place these templates onto the work surface and you turn around and you trace them with a razor blade. What do you end up with? You end up with a facsimile of the part that you want and both of them are serviceable and more than capable of being used in building the airplanes. You can do everything from the small parts like that nose closeout all the way to pieces like the rudder. Same thing, here you go. This piece is 3D printed, this piece is foam board. So these are things that I think may be useful to folks in, um, in producing their own airplanes. And not only producing just one or two airplanes, whereas if I sit here and send you off a kit, something like this, guess what? You got one airplane. If instead you spend a little bit of time and you take the components required and perhaps you put them together, that's a piece of tape, three 3D printed segments. Each segment is under 200 millimeters long, should fit on the bed of most printers. And you take this, trace it onto a piece of foam board, and right there you have your fuselage. Tell me if this is something you'd be interested in. Did the same thing for the wings. Folks say, but why is there only a center section? And that's true, there is. These are obviously where your ailerons cut out. That's the uh, center of the, uh, the wing box. And then otherwise your fold line is marked by these two pinholes here. The reason being is, you know, you can trace these lines with a straight edge out and make your wingspan whatever you want. This airplane is roughly square, 550 millimeters by 550 millimeters. I love this stupid thing. And if you're going to build one, you're going to need a 3D printer because you're going to need to make parts like that motor mount. That motor mount keeps your ESC outside and in the wind so you don't have any overheating. And check this thing out. I dig that. That's a little star pattern. You stick the tip of a hot glue gun inside there and there's channels cut out underneath in a star, in a shape of a little asterisk or whatnot. The hot glue runs down those channels and pops out those little tiny holes, you see that? And in doing so, you get really good adhesion on both sides. So, that's a pretty slick setup. You know, this airplane's, uh, right now I'm just flying at FPV, proving out a lot of things. I really enjoy it. Taking it out, had a couple of good whacks with it. May or may not have got it stuck in a tree. Believe me, it's easier to fly it when it's line of sight rather than RC. But it's got my DJI system. Uh, we can adapt this for other cameras. That's not a problem. So the camera, as you can see, snugs up here on the nose close out, and that keeps this forward hatch closed. Pull it out like that, slide your vent forward, and then you can pull the camera system out. Those weights, they're an approximation of the DJI uh, 03 air unit. So again, this allows me to go out and fly the thing without any risk, and then when I want to, got my breakout system in the nose. I can pull this pin just like that and slide the camera me mechanism out and insert my own camera mechanism, whatever type I want later on. I mean, for example, here's an actual O3 air unit. Got to pull the pin out of this one. There we go. There's the pin. Drop that in. Here's my other pin. These are all replaceable. And now we got a live O3 camera system inside there. And take that guy, same thing. Now we got a live camera in there. Just hook up your uh, little cable at the back of these things. Two servos, real simple. Center of gravity marks, you can see them there and there. So the airplane, when it's got a battery and it balances right there on those marks, lays flat in your fingers. Um, elevator position to takeoff, as you can see, is, you know, a single foam board with nose up. 
This is a plank, so it has all plank tendencies um, in that you're going to have a lot less pitching moment due to the elevons versus having an organic tail surface back there. Obviously a reduced arm. Upside of this, and critical to any plank design, remember that you have a couple of degrees uh, of incidence put into your motor mount. This, so the thrust line meets the center of the aerodynamic core of the wing, is essentially. And in doing so, it prevents any pitch power coupling uh, when you're flying. Again, this airplane, it's not designed with elegant lines. It doesn't have the cool swoopy tail. It doesn't have anything really that magical about it. But what it is, it's really easy to make and it flies well. So think about it. I need to know in the comments if this is something you guys would be interested in. I could put these STL files out there, you know, because you're going to need to print everything from, like I said, the f flight control horns, the camera mount system, you know, eventually if you choose to go down the road of a flight controller, you know, all of that stuff has to be printed. So this would be an easy way for me to get these out into your hands. Now at the same time, probably going to end up charging like 25 bucks for this STL. You know, it's going to be a bundle of STLs, but understand, it real, you know, it's hundreds of hours of work that has come together cumulatively into developing this. And again, a system like this, I've been able to cut out fuselages using this in a matter of minutes. But I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just something that I'm interested in and might not be something you guys are interested in. So leave me some comments down below. Let me know your thoughts and we'll go from there. Thank you.